recall what I said, Jean-Luc, when last we parted ways. The trial never ends. Q. I am way too old for your bullet. When Picard season two picks up, where do we find Jean-Luc? Well, he is uh, once more back on the Chateau estate, uh, Chateau Picard. Um, but in the year and a half that we've been away, there has been a tragedy there on that estate in the death of Laris's husband, who, uh, where the two of them had been running the estate for quite a long time and were essential to Picard and to his property. Um, and that tragedy is going to move Jean-Luc into a, a place that he never anticipated being in. Why was Q, why was now the right time to bring back Q? Oh, there was never not a right time to bring back Q, I feel. Um, I mean, besides, he can come and go as he chooses. He doesn't have to pick a moment. But what has been intriguing about watching John and, and having scenes with him in this is that <clears throat> uh, Q also is going through a sort of transformation. And we were never quite sure what it was. We'd always believed that Q would live forever. He was, he, he was not a human. He was a, a member of the Q continuum. Uh, and then we, we, we learned that he is perhaps more vulnerable than we imagined. And that vulnerability coming into his life has begun to change who he is. And I found that intriguing and what, how John has played it and what he's brought to it has been perfect. Q went back in time and turned our world into a totalitarian nightmare. Do you understand what this means? Time has been broken. I will get us home together. What's it been like for you to come back and play this character again after so long? I've enjoyed it so much because, um, as I said, I think I've touched on this. My, my co-executive producers and the writers have said to me, look, we want to embrace the fact that 32 years have passed but not just 32 years for the cast and the producers and the directors, but also for the characters. So we had to work out and analyze a history for Jean-Luc during those 32 years that things were unexpected, things were happening to him and around him. And that has been intriguing because it's meant that I can introduce new elements into Picard's character because there were elements that developed during the time that we didn't know who he was or where he was or what was happening to him. Welcome to the earth of the 21st century. You're saying you can undo this nightmare? Let's go to work. 